So here Sanket is with me on my channel and today we have made a first impression video on Google Allo and now we will go through various features of Google Allo. So now we will look on the UI of the Allo. Now Sanket will go into my chat and now he will show you how to scale the fonts from high to low. So there we go. We made very small and very large text holding the send button and then moving it up and down. Next we have the incognito mode. So there we go. So this is the incognito mode and let's type something. So here we select the time for the message to get expired. We have selected 5 seconds and here we write a message and this message will get disappeared after 5 seconds. And there we go. Next we tap the same button that we used for the incognito mode and here we have an option to start the group chat. Okay, so we're gone. So we have created the group and here as we can see there was no limit on number of members and we can add up to unlimited number of members. So here we see we don't have any option to show our last scene but we can confirm it that the message has been sent and has been read by the recipient. So here there are the double ticks. Single tick for the send and double tick for the read and also we can search within the chat and when he taps on my photo there is an search option now we, if we want to mute a particular contact we can go into menu and we can mute the contact so there we go and now we will introduce you to the new google assistant feature so this is the ui okay now sanket is searching for the next episode of the flash to be aired on the tv so there we go. So here we go. Now we will see what else the Google Assistant can do for us. So here the cast. And here we can get the full info on each without exiting the app and within the app. And these are the other things that Google Hello provide us. For example, we can play the game, we can translate, we can see the news, we can have some fun with jokes. You can get the travel times, you can get answers, you can see the weather and so on. So let's open the game. So here we have various games available and here we go. So let's see in Pac-Man. So that's a very simple game within a very small app and so many things. So we have various games and you can see that it works without any flows. So here we see the weather. And so we can see the forecast of any day. We can also set an alarm, set in timer, set in countdown within the Google Assistant. We have successfully set an alarm. We can also translate with Google Assistant. For example, see there, we get a translation. And so there's various options how we can get in translation. So here we get in detailed information on various things that we select.
so we search for movies near our city and these are various movies currently present and now we select one of them and Google Assistant will further give us info about it so now we have an option to see the show times and it will automatically give us all the information on which time and what place it's to be screened tapping on the trailer we get an in-app YouTube playback so here we go and we get the further details of the same in the app so now we are jumping on to the location services and there are the results suppose we need to find any meaning of an word we can directly go to the google assistant and search it there and here we see on giving the commands to show my photos it will show all the photos that are currently into the galleries and we can select them and we can do further things with it we can also carry out mathematical calculations on Google Assistant in a very simple manner and here we go we get an answer to a very complex formulas now we are searching for a pizza outlet nearby us and there we have a list now we will search for nearby BRTS stand and we have all the BRTS stands now we will ask the Google Assistant to direct me to my hospital and see what it does and it's thinking and yes it has given a successful directions to my hospital now we will see what are the petrol prices in our nearby area so there we go and it's thinking and we got the list of petrol prices in our city now we have made an query to show the pics of cats but we see that google assistant won't understand us and there we go with the second query and there we get the pics of the hero and here is his more info now we will ask various questions related to TV series to Google Assistant and we'll see what its response. And here we see that it answers correctly. And so we can get into an endless loop of information on the same character further. now we will make some questions related to game of thrones and there we go let's see what it replies and to this and to this and it gives us very funny answers now we will ask google if it is better than siri and let's see what it says and here it is clearly visible that google respects apple and also give importance to siri which on the other way when asked the same question to siri on apple devices would 
prefer Siri instead of Google. Now we'll go on the sports and there we have the current scores. Are those are the current scores? Yes. Okay, yeah. So there are the current scores. Now we will see and Sanket will go into my app again, into my chat and he will use the same Google Assistant with me. So he will type in Google and there will be a pop-up for Assistant to be included within the chat. And there we go. And now he can do the same thing that we did earlier. He can send me directions, he can send me phone numbers, he can send me places to visit and what not. And there we go. And this was all about Google Hello and thanks for watching.